getting the canoe ready. Unicorn. <laughs> We're off. Whiskey's first time in a canoe. He doesn't jump out. Stay. Whiskey. Sit. Sit. Or jump out the blood bus. All right, we finished the first grueling portage, which we had, to, <laughs> which we had to do two in two trips. So one, two trips up, one trip back. You get the canoe. We took that separately. So anyway, it was probably a little over four kilometers of hiking with all the gear. So now we're at uh, Crowbar Lake, the second of our set of lakes, and. Uh, paddle our way up this one and then we've got another short portage after this. We can get whiskey in the boat before he gets everything completely stinky. Whiskey, stay. Sit. It is an eagle. So this is where we've set up camp for the night. We got uh, tired out. We had to tarp everything really well because we've got some torrential rains coming tonight and all day tomorrow. We just got the fire going here now and we're gonna cook up some supper. The kettle on. Gonna stow everything away for the night here. Whiskey don't pee on the canoe. 
like she made a view. No, whiskey, back. Put your eyes right there. So we're at the head of the lake here now, with the river running in. We actually camp right on a portage. So we're right on the pathway, so we'll see what the weather's like tomorrow when we gotta to pack up and move on or we'll just use this as home base and fish from here. Well, so this morning I woke up and it was raining, so I closed my eyes again. And I guess I shouldn't have done that because I just got ditched. I have no idea where Shanny and the dog are, but his sleeping bag is gone, which means the canoe is gone, which means I'm here by myself, so yeah. But he doesn't know that I have all the food. <laughs> So, after camping at the head of Crowbar Lake, right up in this little portage last night, uh, we left camp set up because obviously it's pouring rain in the day. So, Sally decided to stay back where it's dry and cozy in the tent. Take it easy for the day. So, anyway, I made this portage by myself. Just paddled this little, little pond, I guess, lake, whatever it is without a name. I'm just about to make a travel light to get to. Two dry bags and a uh, fly rod, one paddle, and a dog. So we got this little short, rocky portage right here to make, and then we'll be into Woody Lake before our next portage, a little bit longer, 126 meters. On we go. All right, we've come to the portage at the end of Woody Lake. Somebody's got a little swing up. Over the water. Put to unload the canoe here and start the portage. 126 meters, I believe. So we've got a nice little fire pit made here. A little bit garbage left in there. Oh, it's been a well used spot. So, taking gear up the trail. We just finished the portage from Woody Lake into Porcupine Lake. So we've got to paddle up Porcupine and then we've got one more portage, only 85 meters, over to Sam River Long Lake. I'd like to get up to the, at least to the end of that here today and see what it looks like. So anyway, we'll check the campsite out on the island on the way too. So. What do you think, Whiskey? You liking the canoe life? Keep my bow down anyway. You're good ballast. You move though a lot. Well, she's a bit of a wet one today. We've got all of our tarps set up. The camp held up pretty good. There was no leaking and we had no wetness inside the camp or the tent. That one held up. Ah! No, we stop! It held up really well and since Shani decided to ditch me I am flying solo with my lunch so I have put together the beef and barley soup because I know he doesn't like barley that much and I've boiled up some tea and I'm just about ready to have my lunch and I was gonna get really really mad because I thought he took off with both the fly rods but he did only just take his so I probably will hit the river that's right down here from me and see if I can come up with anything. 
Hopefully. Who knows? All right. Load it back up. Finish that portage. Going to Salmon River Long Lake. I'm going to make it right up to the end of the next portage. I'm sure myself on the film right there. That'd be ugly. But <laughs> Lots of hard work. Hey, Whiskey. Not so much for you. You get to ride along and swim. Weave our way out through this rock garden here and out into the open lake. Check out some of these campsites. Our way to the end of uh, Salmon River Long Lake. Next portage. Whiskey and I stopped into the island and there was uh, two couples and a little female lab collie mix that Whiskey got to play with. So he was pretty happy to run around. So I had a spot of tea and a couple cookies with them and stuff and now we'll head up this portage and on to Loon Lake. And there we have Loon Lake. Nice and calm there today. Portage is very easy to follow. Well beaten path. just scouting around and checking out stuff that's here and I found these things out I'm gonna have to look up what those are they must be a male fungus of some sort he okay do you know what causes a legal separation in a marriage is when your husband takes your fly box so I may have my fly rod, but I have no flies. That is going to be a fight later. The pools are just teeming. I can see them just jumping here and there, and I'm like, Ugh! Ooh, what's that? Sorry, squirrel. But yeah, he has all the fly gear. Great. Neighbors passing through, hitting up the portage. Girl play date again, back for a visit. Well, the boys just came back from their fishing excursion with all of my gear, and it looks like poor little buddy is so cold and wet. Yeah. Talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you. You're banned from the tent. You're not allowed in. <laughs> That's what happens when you take my stuff. What? When you take my stuff. <laughs> I'm some of these cold, cold and wet. I'm getting them all warmed up because it's pouring rain now. Yeah, you're happy. into supper today. We've made it and it stopped raining and I'm getting dried off and it's been damp and dreary all day. So tonight we have more homemade dehydrated meals. This one is turkey dinner. So it's dehydrated turkey, corn, there's like peas, uh, croutons, and then a little bit of gravy mix. So we're going to try that and see how that turns out. And of course with turkey, you always have to have your mashed potatoes. So we have instant mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna try not to add too much water because that has been my problem lately that I'm adding too much water to my meals. So we'll give it a go and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So we waited our 20 minutes that we're supposed to leave it. The potatoes look like they should. So we're going to spoon some of that stuff. Oh yeah! Potatoes! The trick to these ones we found was add just a little bit of water at a time and keep stirring it because that way it gave us an indication. Of, ow! Ow! Look! I'm on fire! Ah! Hold on! <laughs> Here we go. Sorry.
but yes, the trick to these ones was just adding it a little bit at a time and stirring constantly and then letting it sit. Now the big question was how did our turkey dinner turn out? And I think it turned out okay. Everything rehydrated well. And you can see that the gravy took. So we're going to pour that right over top our potatoes. And it's just like... Yeah. I forgot to tell you that I put cranberries in it too. And I'll show you. Like commercial or ones you picked here? This is what I put together myself. Where'd you get the cranberries? Oh, the cranberries were Bought dried cranberries. Okay. Yeah. That was okay. You're forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sunday afternoon, on our way back out. And this is our second to last portage, I guess. This one's quite a long one, so we have the canoe we have to pack. Say hi. <laughs> and. And we have all this gear, plus the two paddles, and the dog, but he'll walk, so. Anybody who doesn't understand portages, this is uh, what a portage is, that uh, we pack everything pretty much on our backs and what we can carry, along with the canoe, on to the next body of water. Homeward bound. And just like that, we're all loaded back up, our original launch site, back at Otter Lake. Of. Now we're homeward bound and start getting gear all put away and dried out because it's pretty wet after this weekend. But fun time!